Hi, Amy Fashion Toppings here with a thrift haul. I haven't done a thrift haul in quite a while. I kind of did one when I gave you our guest house tour. I showed you where a majority of the things that are in our guest house have all been upcycled or from estate sales, garage sales, or the thrift store. So I'm not gonna re-show you all those. If you're interested in seeing the last few things I've done for home decor, go to my guest house tour. And that was the last video I posted. And now I'm gonna show you some of the other things that I've gotten that I haven't put out throughout the house yet. And I wanted to get them put out, so I thought I'd show them to you right now. First thing is, is I've accumulated a lot of antique books. You know how much I love antique books. And I'm not gonna show you all of the books I've got because they all kind of look the same. But I think I've accumulated at least 15 more antique books. And I only buy books that are predated uh, 1900. So mine are usually in the 1875 to 1900 range. Um, not price, <laughs> date, or a copyright date. Um, but I will buy newer books, like 1940s or whatever, if they're beautiful. So I do love my antique books. But these are not that antique, but they're beautiful. I got a set of four, I'm gonna show you two of them right now. Now I got these books for $3 a piece. Now granted, like I said, they're not antique, but they look it. The copyright dates are 1976, <laughs> so they're really not that old. Um, but look at how beautiful the spines are. Now, they've been patinaed to look old and they have these medallions on them. And that's why I got them because they just look so nice on a shelf. These are just for looks as these aren't collectors. But, and you can see that they've been kind of, someone, specifically put some glaze on it. It didn't come that way. Someone put glaze on them. To me. So this is kind of like a DIY project that someone must have done because you can definitely see like that they put glaze on it. But what a neat idea to take a book that has a beautiful spine and just put some glaze on it and wipe it off. But I just thought that was such a cute idea with the medallions on the side. So those are decorating my shelves right now at $3 a piece. Loved those. Next, this is my, I'm gonna share one of my favorite things first. I fell in love with this. Now my mom, you'll see in the guest house tour that my mom had sent me some little chickens. And I like the fact that they had realistic feet. It's not like a porcelain chicken with a big porcelain ba uh, base. You find those everywhere. I found a peacock. This thing looks real. It's all, it's all metal. But look at this, look at the details. Is she not just beautiful? The tail, it's all made of metal. The feet are all wrapped metal. And I got hers, isn't she beautiful? She, she just looks real. I got her for $10. Now I did get this at an antique shop, so I was surprised that I only had to pay $10 for her, but look at how beautiful she is. She is actually, I was gonna put her in the guest house, but I'm enjoying looking at her on my kitchen counter. So I'm keeping her in the main house for a while, but for $10, oh, I just thought this is a detail on her face and these little, um, those little things on her head. Oh, she, she is my favorite find lately. So got that. Now these next, these next two, I got it at a state sale Oops. and they had a buck or a big box that just said dollar each. So I kind of went through everything and, but I didn't get all the way to the bottom because the box was full. And so I was like, okay, it's just gonna be a bunch of junk. So I kept going because the house was huge. It was a million dollar home and there's a lot of people there. So I wanted to get in the house to make sure that I wasn't missing out on anything. Well, I bought a few things for around my house and I showed you one of them in the guest house tour, the plate holder, the wrought iron plate holder. And where I actually broke the, or ruined the paint on the, some of my rooster plates that I was using that plate holder for. Well, I got that there and I went back the next day with a friend because I wanted her to see if there's anything that she wanted there because it was a beautiful home. And I went back to that dollar box because it was 50% off and the box had emptied out quite a bit. I found these at the bottom of the box. So I got them for 50 cents each. There's my roosters. Look at little metal roosters and chicken wire baskets, 50 cents each. Ah, I mean, they're gorgeous. I would have paid the dollar for them if I would have found them in the box before, but I was a little upset because I actually did look at, uh, at first I did look in the box and they had a donut maker that was on the top. So I went to pick up the donut maker to move it out of the way. They hadn't cleaned it. And, and I was wearing a white blouse and the oil from the donut maker 
the, it was like an orange grease got on my shirt so I was kind of upset so that's another reason I didn't dig through the pile but someone bought the donut maker and I went back and, and I was able to dig through the pile and got these cute little things <clears throat> now you think I'd put these in the guest house because they're the roosters but as of right now they look really cute on my antique secretary desk um, in my kitchen and when I, when I do my home tour I'll show you where they're at okay next I got these little mason jar Yankee candle and I'm sure these are not like antique or anything like that but I got these for a dollar each and they're just little mason jars and I put candles in them and I got three of them and so these are actually I'm keeping them on my wood island and they're just little tiny baby mason jars and so I put the candles are mine pumpkin spice but these little jars are so cute I couldn't pass them up they're nothing special they're nothing special, but I thought they were cute. Next, I'm gonna show you a shot of my dining room. Now, if you have been watching me for a while, you know that I have a life-size butler statue. It scares the crap out of everybody who comes in our house because they think it's a man standing in our corner. And, um, but these plates kind of match the, the whole coloring of the butler, the, the look of the butler. And I have a lot of these little, I know a lot of people have these things, but I love these little fat chefs. They're like for hot plates. And since I can't put um, anything hot on my wood island, I use these. And so they're so cute and they kind of go with my, um, the whole idea of my butler. And I have a big wine uh, bottle holder that actually has these same chefs. So it kind of went with a lot of the theme around my house. So I picked those up. Now they have it so you can hang them on the wall, but I wouldn't. Uh, it's got the little safety uh, safety pads for on the counter, so that's what I use them for. These, I thrifted these like three weeks ago, and so I can't remember what I paid for them, but I, I know that I wouldn't have paid more than five bucks for them. And so I'm sure I paid less than five because that's just kind of like my rule of thumb. So, yeah, pretty much I had to have gotten those for less than five dollars uh, or less, otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought them. Next, I told you that I ruined my rooster plates um, that I bought the plate stand for, but I found more rooster plates. These are going to go down in the farmhouse. They're so cute. I got them. I got three of them. And so they are, they're not antique looking, but they are the, the colors of my farmhouse because I have a lot of that. I have the sea salt green and some of the, the light blues and the grays. So I thought the colors match nicely. So I got three of these. I want an orange and they're all different roosters and the brands there's no brand on them and then I got a blue one Oops. aren't those cute and then each one came with its own hanging stand see it's got the little circle at the top so you can hang them up individually so I don't have to use that plate stand um, but see now watch me break <laughs> Okay, so when they were, they were for sale and they weren't marked at the estate sale. I said, how much are the plates? And she said, $5. And I, and I said, what about the stands? And she says, oh, I thought those were attached. I'll throw those in. So I got a, a plate and a stand for $5. So I got three of them. So for all three plates and all three plate stands, which has the little leaves, they got little leaves on them for $5 each, so a total of $15 for all three plates and all three plate stands, or hanging, whatever you call these things. Next, I, I really like antique looking things, and the colors of these kind of go with everything else in my main house, not the farmhouse, but the main house. And these are, I don't know what kind of metal they are, and I don't think they're antique, just because of stamping on the back. You can't read the stamping on the back. It just says BWP. I don't know what that is. And it says right on them, give us this day our daily bread. So they're little like bread bread trays. But they're metal. That's cute. It has the person cutting down the wheat. This one's a little bit kind of dirtier. <laughs> but I don't really, it's not like dirt, dirt. This one has to be. This one has to be cleaned up a little bit, but this one's clean. But I, I like 
you know, the kind of aged patina to it. So I'm not gonna like rub too hard to get it clean because I kind of want it to look old. This one is just plain dirty. So this is gonna get cleaned. But they both say, give us a stay our daily bread. And they look really cute. I'm putting them in the shelves of my secretary desk. So I got two of those and they were a dollar a piece. Okay, the only, I haven't been thrifting for any clothes because this whole unpacking for the new house has been crazy. I have given away so many clothes, it's ridiculous. And I still, my husband has to put together another closet for me in one of the guest bedrooms because I need to move some of my clothes into there. And so if I would've came home with clothes, I probably would've been in trouble. Um, and not in trouble, but you know, my husband probably wouldn't have been too happy. So, but I did thrift some shoes. Now I went to that estate, I went to an estate sale. I got a Keurig coffee maker, and I'll show you a picture of that because I'm already using it. I have a Keurig, and I know that I paid 100 bucks for it at Kohl's uh, during Black Friday. And I had my Keurig down at the guest house, so when company comes, they can make you know fresh coffee. Well, then I don't have a Keurig up in, my, up in the main house, so I got this Keurig. I'm gonna put it up here again. I got this for $40. Now granted, <laughs> I usually don't buy appliances because I'm nervous they won't work, so I actually tested it out. I had them plug it in, we found, we got water, we, we used one of the cups that was for sale, ran water through it and just to show that it worked. And it, it's great, it's only 40 bucks and now I have a Keurig at the main house and then I also have the Keurig down at the guest house. So I got that, but while I was getting that, um, I saw these shoes and I am obsessed with these shoes. I love them, I put them on right away and wore them with my jeans. Um, rolled up so you could you know see half my calf but these are so cute I don't know the brand it says the replay company makers of blue jean denim so I don't know if that's a brand or not but I love the tattered edges I love I think it's kind of like the espadrille look but I love all this look look at the toe the toe is squared off and then it has these laces so, I mean, the laces are long. So it laces all the way up my, to the middle of my calf. And they, they just look so cute on. And I just, with blue jeans and having, you know, this strap kind of goes up the front and then up around your ankles. But I love the, you know, the kind of obnoxious gold logo, you know, on here. I just love this tatteredness. If you ever heard of this brand, let me know. I, I mean, here's the logo. Just a big giant flower with an R. I've never heard of it. I'm gonna Google it, but I just got them. And um, normally I wouldn't pay $8 for a pair of shoes at an estate sale, but these were $8. But I just thought they were so cute. And they're very, very clean. And I mean, look at the bottoms. It doesn't even look like anybody wore these. The treads are in place. What a cute print this is gonna make in the, in the dirt. And the tag is on them and they were on sale for $49.95, and I got them for $8. So that's the only pair of apparel that I have estate sale, or got at an estate sale lately, but I got some more stuff. Okay, next, I got this at an estate sale, and it was $8 too, um, but it's, oh, I just smudged it. Well, you'll get to see it. I loved it. It is a big, it's all, in here, it's all glass, porcelain, and it is a frame that you use a wipe off marker and you write messages on. And it's a girl that's shopping, isn't that cute? So I just smudged the F on fashion topping. So I wrote fashion toppings on it and then I keep that on my work desk. I just thought that was so cute. And it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good size. I love it, so I'm gonna put it right here. On the next thing I'm gonna show, oh, on something I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Then my mom found this and mailed it to me. She thought it looked good in my sewing room. And it's just a fashion picture. Looks like it might have been from Hobby Lobby um, previously. I'm not sure if she thrifted this or got this at the consignment shop, but I thought that was really cute. I'm gonna hang that. It looks really nice with a black, black background. So I'm gonna hang that in my sewing room as well. And then, it's gonna be noisy. Then um, when I showed you the guest house, I wanted to tell you about the pillows, the pillow I made on there, and I'm gonna do a tutorial on it. We have company in, my son has company in uh, from out of town visiting him, and so it's, it's hard for me to do a sewing video because they're gone right now, but as soon as they get home, they get the, the music 
I mean, the whole house, you can hear the bass. <laughs> and the, the boom, boom, boom. So I can't do a video because I got teenage kids around. Um, but I will get to it, I promise. But I told you about the pillows that I thrifted and I wanted to show you these pillows. I got them at the Goodwill. Look at the size of these pillows and they are brand new. I mean, look at, look at how white they are. You can tell that they have never been used. They're not. The only, the only wrinkles that are in them are the wrinkles because of me having them all wadded up in a, uh, in a bag. And I told you they're 453 um, on the last video. I was wrong. They're 454, <laughs> $4.54 a piece. But I got four of these big, look at the size of these things. I'm like a floating head now. <laughs> but I got these pillows for $4.54 a piece. And if you price them out of Joann's, you'll see that this is a killer deal. So I was really happy. I felt kind of greedy because I bought every one that they had there. They had four of them. I bought all four. So, And then the curtains that I bought to make the pillows, which I'm going to be making more pillows, and that's what I'm going to use for the video, are, are these. And the reason I got them is because they look so quilted, but they're not quilted. And these were $4.34. And I got four sets of curtains, and they're still in their bags. It's called French Cottage Balance. But what stood out to me is, you know, I'm, I'm big into the rooster theme, and the quilt that I bought for the bed and the master at the guest house is the same color as the roosters in here. But you can see, look at, see all the roosters? And that's the same color as the quilt that I put in the master bedroom. So that's what I'm using it for. And my fingernails aren't dirty. I had a French manicure done and I had the tips painted black for Halloween. So you might be watching the video going, damn, Amy, clean your nails. But it's not. I had um, a French manicure done, but I decided to try something different and I painted the tips or had them paint the tips of them black. So something different. So I got four of these all new in their containers uh, for $4.34 each. And like I said, it takes... Um, it takes a whole curtain to make a pillow. So I'll be able to make at least one, if not two more pillows out of those. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you is kind of like the big thing, and I, I also did a DIY. So I wanted to show you some before pictures and some after pictures. The before pictures are right here. Now, this is a desk that I bought in an estate sale. Now, I felt bad paying what I did for it. Um, I believe I paid 40 bucks for this. And I brought it home thinking my husband's gonna say, are you crazy? This thing, that thing is ugly. And so I was afraid, I was afraid he was gonna think I'm bringing home another piece of trash that, uh, that he was gonna have to step in and help me make something out of it. Cause, but it, everything worked on it really well. I mean, and I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so I showed you the before pictures. Now, I'm gonna show you the after pictures. Okay, so here's the after. What I did is I sanded, sanded it down just to get rid of the high gloss. And then I bought a spray paint that is primer and paint in one. And it actually took two cans to paint it. Um, but I taped off, this is all glass, I taped off all the glass and then I just spray painted it. And it turned out really nice, but this is what's cool about it. I originally bought this to showcase my antique books, but then I decided I wanted it in my sewing room. And so it lifts up, let me pan out. Okay. So, as you can see, the door opens, and this is what I was worried about. My, I mean, I, my husband, whenever I buy stuff like this, usually these kind of things don't work, and you can't re really replace those that easy. But this, I was happy to say, this works very well. See, it just, it just shuts. And then inside, I have a lot of my antique jewelry. So my fans, and then I put uh, pink, this, some pink silk fabric inside to hide the, the ugly fabric they had in there before that was all stained. But I just love it. Just pop it up, locks into place, and there we go. And so that actually, this whole project here just took me, well, it was about two hours. The hardest part of the whole thing was just taping off all the hardware. But it's all glass and painted it white. And so I haven't done a DIY for furniture in a long time. And so I was really happy with that purchase. And while we're at it, I may as well show you what I'm standing in front of. 
there we go. There's a dress that I purchased uh, from Diva Diva Boutique, and I loved it just because it looked so vintage, you know, it cost me. And the amount of lace that was in this dress, and it's the soft, soft lace, layers and layers of it. I had to get that. So, but I made this curtain, it goes almost up to the ceiling. There's a lot of fabric. I thought it'd be cheaper to make a curtain than it would be to buy one, which it, it is, because this curtain is 100 inches long. Um, from top to bottom and it was $90 in fabric but I made this big giant curtain and I would have done a video except for this amount of fabric when I don't have a work table yet in here would have been difficult to videotape because I was actually wadding fabric up in my lap and sliding it through the machine and that right there is my wedding dress from when I got married 24 years ago I just love this dress I don't have the train on it right now but I wore a vintage hat. I had vintage boots, which I don't have anymore because they got ruined. That was the, the necklace that I actually wore in the wedding. All that beadwork. It's a little wrinkled. It's been in the bag for 24 years. And then the back of it. And then the train attached underneath that big fan. But it looks very, I've always been into that vintage looking stuff. So that is actually my wedding dress. So I finally get to put it to use. I bought that mannequin at an estate sale when we were living at the temporary housing. Can't remember what I paid for it. I think I paid like maybe 30 bucks for the mannequin, but it's on wheels and mannequins are not cheap, most of you know. And you remember my high heel shoes that I got at a garage sale? See the high heels? I got the green one. I got those at a garage sale and finally get to put those to use. I have a plus size mannequin that I got underneath here. I got her at an estate sale while we were doing the building of the house. She's been in storage too. And I got her, I can't remember now because it's been probably six months she's been in storage, um, but it's a plus size one. And I believe I only paid $25 for her. So I got her. I wasn't gonna include her in the estate sale stuff, but okay. It's coming along, it's still a little empty, but It'll be done soon. Okay, right. well that is my long estate sale, thrift haul, shopping haul that I wanted to share with you. It's kind of some, like I said, some stuff that I accumulated and I didn't think that I had put it in a video yet so I wanted to show you everything. I'm excited as usual about any time I get to go to an estate sale or go thrifting. So I was happy to get to share this with you today. Well, this is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.